Welcome to Cancel Hill this week. This is the Sunday when we think of Trinity Sunday, the Trinity as a way of talking about God. It's the Sunday after Pentecost and it helps us understand or try to understand a bit more about God. Praise the God of creation who made us to be in relationship. Praise Jesus of love who calls us friends. Praise the spirit of peace who enables us to live together in unity. Let's pray. God of the still small voice, you speak to us when we least expect it. We hear your voice in the moments of chaos, clutter and uncertainty. Jesus, calmer of storms, your very presence comforts us. We are upheld by your quiet authority. Holy Spirit, Counselor, carrier of our pain and celebrations, we gather under your protection. We feel the stirring of new birth, even in our old lives. Amen. We set a puzzle in Christianity by saying there is only one God and then talking about three, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We say this is a mystery, three persons but one God, three sides like the three leaves of a clover leaf, three states like water, mist and ice but one element. But still most Christians feel confused about the Trinity. We need to understand as much as we can or we lose a great gift. But if we see the Trinity as a circle, no beginning, no ending, no top or bottom, God an existing and eternal relationship. Jesus saying, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. This is the relationship we are invited to join so that we pray in God and not to God. Here we see God committed to the dance of an equal and unending relationship, willing to suffer rather than force us into relationship. We see the Father and the Holy Spirit in agony with Jesus on the cross. So close is the relationship. In Greek icons, you always see some representation of each person of the Trinity on the cross. We're invited to be in this relationship. We are invited to be part of the dance, knowing the vulnerability and the joy of love. Instead of constantly searching for the way to God, whenever we pray, we dwell in God, in the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, our Creator, our Companion and our Comforter. The much maligned doctrine of the Trinity is an assertion that appearances to the contrary notwithstanding there is only one God. To talk of Father, Son and Holy Spirit in another way means the mystery beyond us, the mystery among us and the mystery within us are all the same mystery. So the Trinity is a way of saying something about us and the way we experience God. It's also a way of saying something about God and the way God is within himself. God doesn't need creation in order to have something to love because within God, love happens. In other words, the love God is, love is not a noun but a verb. The verb is reflexive as well as transitive. 
if the idea of God as both three and one seems far-fetched and confusing, look in the mirror someday. There is the interior life, known only to the Father. There's the visible face, which reflects what there is inside, that is the Son. And there is the invisible power you have in order to communicate what's inside of you, the life, in such a way that others don't merely know about it, but know it in the sense of becoming part of who they are, the Holy Spirit. Yet what you are looking at in the mirror is clearly and indivisibly the one and only you. Whatever the picture you consider for the Trinity, think of a God who's in relationship with us, who always will be, and in whom we can look forward to depending on in every tomorrow. Let's pray. God be on the road on which we travel, he the mountains on which we are tested and challenged, he the wells at which we find healing and peace. Christ be the light by which we travel, he the vision which informs and enlarges us, he the guiding star shining in our darkest nights. May the Spirit inspire us as we travel, she the restlessness driving us onwards, she the stillness leading us to the heart of God, the Trinity, the Three, go with us as we travel. And may your journey, every journey, begin, continue and end in them. And may your journeys be in peace. Amen. Can I encourage you to stay safe and take care in the week that lies ahead. No matter how restrictions are opening up, let us take care of ourselves and take care of each other. God bless you.